Paradox Rift. More. More. This is our first look at Paradox Rift, our first time opening it. We went to our local card shop and we got a build and battle kit. If you didn't know, that's where the three extra packs are coming from too. So each of us got seven packs for a total of 21 packs being open on this video. So sit back, slap like, maybe subscribe and enjoy. So with the release of 151, which we found out pull race are pretty hard. I mean, there's some cool cards in there. Don't get me wrong. There's cool cards in 151, arguably the best set of 2023. But we're seeing if this set, Paradox Rift, has the same type of pull rates and nothing in pack number one. But I gotta say, the artwork is sublime. I'm really digging it, really digging it. I just hope the pull rates aren't like 151 because I would like to pull some heat Pepperzard would like to pull some heat, Babe would like to pull some heat, but are we going to? Sample size of 21 seems like we gotta get something, right? On another note, how many of you guys managed to find this Paradox Rift set early released in the wild without competing in a tournament? Or maybe you did compete in a tournament, check that out, future, a future item card, oh yeah, they have future item card and ancient item card and they also brought back TMs and ooh, Pepperzard pulls a Hoopa EX, nice, nice. So the first hit was pulled and that bad boy is textured, probably because it's a Terra Pokemon, but can Pepperzard pull another one? Can he pull an illustration rare? Can he pull a secret rare? Can he pull a gold? What's he gonna do? It's the last of the loose packs before he opens his build and battle kit and I'm excited to see the promo. If anyone else knows what's in this set, let me know where your chase cards are because I haven't dug in or, dug or researched this set too much. Is this a set that you wanna go all in on or is this just another, uh, it'll hold me off to the next one type of thing. Oh, and without further ado, he's opening the build and battle kit. I want to see that promo. What promo could it be? Ah, interesting. Zatu? That's very interesting. I'm not knocking it. Just a little odd. What's the kid gonna pull now? Hopefully in this pack, Pepperzard can pull another hit because those build and battle kits only give you four packs. And I understand the purpose of it for the trading card game. You know, you want to you wanna make something up real quick, get a feel of the cards and how they do in tournament play and whatnot. But come on, man. We just want a hit. Whoa, two Toad Schools? That's awkward. And they're like right next to each other. You guys see that? Why would that Pokemon need two different cards? I don't know. If anyone knows, let me know. And now that we're nearing the halfway of his building battle kit, we're really praying here. Come on. Come on. Come on, Arceus. Give us a hit. Give Pepperzard a hit. He's supposed to be the Flame Ripper Pepperzard. Usually upon release of new sets, he pulls the heat. Is this is this one not gonna do it for him? We'll even settle for an EX at this point. Come on. What is happening? A Mantic, that's pretty cute. Oh, and another Milotic. Woo, second to the last pack for Pepperzard, and he wants to save the Garchomp for for last. He thinks he thinks that. The Garchomp has the hit. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe there's something to it. Maybe not. I'm going to let him do his thing. Oh, yeah. By the way, these code cards we're giving out, I don't think they'll work yet. But, you know, yeah, I don't think they'll work yet because it's the, the set isn't officially released. Not yet. It's not officially released yet. So, my apologies. Um, feel free to come back. I mean, these code cards are first come, first serve. Hopefully you guys can pull some stuff on the live. And look at that. The ancient cards look pretty cool. Oh, and the Sandy Shock EX. Okay, okay, okay. 
I would say that this wasn't a complete bust. We are pulling some... We pulled two hits out of that, so he had seven packs. Uh, not too bad. I was hoping to see an illustrator, an illustration rare, but, you know, you get what you get with Pokemon packs. It's kind of like a gamble opening every pack, because you don't know where the hits are. And, uh... Give it time, I'm pretty sure there's going to be people who weigh this and try to figure out whether you can weigh these packs too. Is there going to be something in the Garchomp pack? Pepperzard wanted to save this one for last and I'm hoping, I'm hoping he gets a hit. Even if it's another Rex, we'll take it. I'm hoping there's something to it. Techno Radar? Future boost energy. Ah. Just a regular hollow. But it's Babe's turn. Alright, now that it's Babe's turn, we get to change up the vibe a little bit and hope that she pulls some fire. Seven packs. Decent odds. I don't really know. Pepper's art only got two out of the seven. Is Babe also going to get 2 out of 7, or is Babe going to get 3, 4, 5, to, I don't know. These guys have better pull rates than me, so tune in and see. Just like that, Babe's done over first pack, pulling a hollow. Wu Chen. Wu Chen. Pack number 2, what will you do? Come on, Babe. Bring in the hits. Come on. Come on! Starting off pack 2 with a Steel Liturgy! Now, that pack had a Bomb Sweep, but it was not Bomb Sweep, if you know what I mean. Pack number 3, what will it be? Can we get a hit before she opens the build and battle kit? Ooh, that Magby looks dope. Oh, and a Volcanion. So, no, no dice up on that, uh, loose three packs. Build and Battle Kit is open. Let's see what promo she gets. Ooh, Aegislash. Nice, nice. Four more packs to go. Hopefully he doesn't treat her like those loose three packs. Oof. Starting off the build and battle kit with darkness and a gimme ghoul. Hey, that's the first time we've seen that one so far. A minor. Oh, I did see that there is an illustration rare minor. In this set, hey, and a copy, Gragas. Hey, there we go. Finally, a hit's been pulled. Dope, dope. But I'm seeing EXs. We want to see illustration rares. We want to see secret rares. We want to see gold. Come on, does she got what it takes? Lightning energy, if y'all know me, you guys know I rock with the lightning energy. Good old zap zap. Boy, Coco, and a Thievul, ah. Another set where Thievul is trolling. We're on the second to last pack for Babe. What'll happen? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Again, artwork in this set is stunning.
Charcot at reverse, Orgon to reverse, and a Deoxys. Hmm. I wonder how playable this Deoxys is going to be. And just like that, we're down to the last pack for Babe. Hopefully she can get some last pack magic. Maybe. Maybe. Darkness starting off last pack. Come on. Absol, that's trippy. Ooh, a Chiyu. Chiyu has a hollow. Hmm. Okay, well, my turn. All right, all right, all right, all right. I've been real eager to rip. I'm going last, so I've got to bring the hits. We need at least one illustration rare and maybe a few EXs. I'm not going to go as far as saying that we're going to pull a secret rare. I don't know. I don't think I have that in my capabilities upon re-release. But I'm calling at least one illustration rare. Pack number one has begun. Sit back and let's let it rip. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, and look at that. Aegis slash EX. That's how we get it started. I think I'm just feeling the mojo. Pack number two, what will you do? Come on, come on. Darkness energy, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Charcot at reverse. Magby reverse. Look at that. Flame spitter. Hey, and another EX. We got the Iron Hands. If y'all don't know, in Scarlet and Violet, Iron Hands is pretty good for those terror raids. So we're two for two. Pack number three, what will it be? Can we keep this going? Can we get another hit? Are we going to get another hit? Or are we going to fizzle out now? All seeing eyeball energy. There we go. Come on. Screamtail? That's basically a Jigglypuff. That's a win already. Ooh, and a Zekrom. So that didn't do it. That did not do it. All right. Pre-release kit is open. Let's get it. Hopefully, the no hit in that last pack doesn't mean we fizzled out, but we do got another Zatu. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Come on. What's it going to be? Water energy. There's water Pokemon, okay. But I'm noticing that that Wimpod also a Snorlax doll dub. That's another dub. Any Snorlax card is a dub. W. W. And reverse hollow Snorlax doll? A. Hey, pack is won already. The pack won. I don't even count that as not getting a hit because there's two Snorlax dolls in there. Come on, let's get it. Let's get it. If in this pack we get even more Snorlax stuff, still a dub, still a dub. But I have a feeling, oh, it's my energy. We are getting something. I hope. I hope. These new items, I'm gonna have to look at them, read them back to see if they're useful. But look at that reverse item. And reverse screen tail, dub, dub. But a non hollow in the end. That's okay. That's okay. We got that reverse hollow scream tail. That's basically a Jigglypuff. And we're at the last two packs now. We're in the last two packs. Something's gotta happen. Come on. Where's my illustration rare? Rubbish. I think that's the first time we saw that. And a crustal. Yep. I think that's the first time we've seen that in this opening. 
and the flittle. Wow. Okay. Okay. We're seeing new cards here. Evil. And there it is. There it is. The illustration rare. I'm not even bummed out about that. I know Latios. The illustration rare isn't what I would say I'm hunting for, but it does look really nice. Very colorful. Could this be last pack magic? You tell me. Or we can wait and see. Fingers crossed. What are we getting? What are we getting? Absol? That one's trippy. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Come on. Hey! A Skeleturge EX. And it's textured. 